Yeah, so you want some money, eh? I ain't gonna help you with that, huh? <laughs> so you want to make some money though, right? Yeah, watch this video. I got you. Not only making money, but maintaining your fucking money, man. It's the biggest, the hardest, just the... Just watch. Light up and watch. My joint smiley face is still up and going. But, hey, my roach smiley face. Owner Nation. I'm finna be telling y'all how to get rich. <laughs> we finna get rich. All right, so you obviously click this video because you love me or you love money, right? Whichever one it is, you're gonna get your little fix in today. So, here we go, man. Money, money, money. Shit runs the world and it's the... the the root of all evil and the cause of all problems which y'all hear them say all the time more money equals more problems more money equals more problems which is true that's why it's hard to get money that's why i said at the beginning of the video maintaining your money because as it as it seems to me it's kind of more easy to get the money than it is to like to to, to keep it in your pockets to keep Cause you gotta pay taxes when you start making money, right? I don't know if y'all know what that means yet. We got some young viewers on here, so I'm gonna break it down. If you make above a certain amount of money, basically if you're making money because everybody else doesn't have that much money, we're just, everybody's poor. All right, if you're young, bro, it's not like lower class, middle class, upper class. It's really like, I guess in better words, it's super poor, kinda poor, not poor <laughs> it's the better way to look at it and so the upper class people everybody wants to be upper class right but there's more problems that come with that and we'll talk about that later but the majority of people start at one of these other two either kind of poor or really really poor struggling and um uh, whichever one of those two you're in know that all it takes is hard work and consistency to beat any problem you have with anything, much less money. Like it's not, you know, you're not going to be stuck in that situation just because your parents were broke forever. Their choices are what put them in that situation, which a lot of times that it's more of what they didn't do more than what they did do. Put that into your life. What are stuff that you're not doing right now that you could be doing to make a to make a buck? Because the hardest part is having your capital money, having having startup money. Like, that's why I said we're going to start with act like we're starting in either the kind of poor place or the super poor place. Just like me right now. But I finally broke out of it because, look, what do poor people do? Right. They get any job they can. They do anything they can for money. They're cutting themselves short. If you go work at a McDonald's or any other than restaurants, brothers, serve minimum wage. You're getting $15 an hour, 14, 12, 20, like minimum wage differs which state you're in, but you're putting a price tag right there on how much your time is worth. I used to work minimum wage for years. If somebody tried to give me $20 for an hour of my time right now, I'd probably take it because I'm broke. But say I wasn't broke. <laughs> say i wasn't broke and just some random person says hey 20 dollars, you gotta follow me around for the next hour i'll be like dude fuck you like what the i'm not some you can't just buy me for some weak ass 20 dollars. like what the fuck but this is what people do though with these companies because it's a set payday like you know all you got to do is show up to work, put minimal effort in, and you're going to get paid for multiple hours of your time being there, which those jobs are never hard to do. So how do you, what do you need to do to get past that? You need to try to get yourself into a sales job. I don't give a fuck what you sell, the People, the, the grown-ups, you see them selling insurance. They obviously didn't start selling insurance. Most people started going door-to-door, -door, um, like what I'm doing right now. I sell window siding roof. You could sell cars. You could sell used cars if you're young. And you like if you're 18, 19 years old, bro, go to a used car lot. You'll have to put in hella hours working. But like at least you're not working for you might not even get paid, right? Because you have to sell a car to get paid. But the 
that is a ma one car per week is better than working your ass off at a at a restaurant and making a five hundred dollars a week okay you could sell literally just one car one deal i could sell today that's why i like my job better though selling windows and that shit you don't have to you don't have to be at work on the car lot like you do if you're doing that sales job or if you're selling insurance you probably have to work nine to five monday through friday my job i get to pick my hours because i get to pick how much money i want to make today how much money i want to make this month it just is a lot. It's just, I got to put in the work, but that's with anything. And that's what I guess I'm trying to tell y'all is if you take the shortcut and you sell drugs or you work at one of these restaurants and you're, you, you're, you're taking a shortcut though, bro. So you're not going to learn everything you need to learn. You're not going to put, you're not in the right position to succeed, even though you took a shortcut to get that money, to get that bag. You're still in the same place mentally though. You didn't grow mentally. You grow through failure, though, bro. Stop being scared to fail with your money, bro. Take an investment. If you feel like you could sell some clothes, buy some T-shirts, put some designs on them. Like That is a way you can start making money, but more than making money, you're starting an actual business, a brand. Uh, you're not like, even if it only, even if you lose money the first month, like if you, if you break even, so what, dude? So what? That's a, that's a fucking W. You could have made more money working at the restaurant, but look, you're actually putting in something that's going to make you money. All right. This is what I learned from this mob guy. I watch like gangsters and shit on YouTube, bro. That's the only people I watch. People who've been to prison. And basically that's it. Like you got to have, you, I don't know why, bro, but I feel like prison, like bro, cause I've been to rehab and I know like there's literally nothing to do, but better yourself or you lose your mind in prison or rehab. I ain't been to prison, but it's just cool to me though, seeing how you could be in the shittiest place in the whole world, prison, and you could really like level up your mind and be a accomplish more in prison than these people accomplished their whole 20, 30 years before prison. That's what really like, boom, that shit just woke me up like, damn. I've been in prison in this free world. I've been trapped in my mind. I've been cutting myself short. I haven't. You got to just know that every day you boost something up. It don't have to. If it's your business, if it's yourself, if it's your working out, if it's reading, like you can upgrade yourself in all these different ways, which, which, which all come together is what I'm trying to say. And work together like all your businesses and all everything you do like especially me i'm gonna have to show y'all let me bust the crystals out i don't know why i just did that but um everything you do is for a reason though bruh like it has a long lasting impact like laying in your bed all day not doing shit you just fucked off today and really got worse, got more into your addiction of not doing shit. <laughs> so you got to notice that though, bro. Not not thinking like, oh, I'm not going to do anything today. So it's okay though. I'm not getting worse. So I'm not getting better. So I'm just going to stay the same. No, you're getting worse. Like you're, you're putting yourself in a worse situation. <sighs> Back to the money. I'm not done. I ain't forget. So how to get that fucking bread. So you already got shit going right, but you're not still making out a lot of money. You know, you know what you need to do. You're doing all this different little shit, little, a lot of little different shit. And I don't know. It's more like growing whatever you want to do at it. You be the worker. You get the funds. Once you get to set up funds, right? Like, let's skip past that. We, we got our set up funds. We're in the, we're in the kind of poor class, but we got a couple thousand, but we just don't know what to do with it. But we're still broke, but we just now we got a couple thousand. So we can invest or we can lose it, <laughs> spend it on a fucking Gucci jacket or something like crazy. Like, so that's, what, that's what people do. That's what people do. They buy watches and jewelry and shit with their money, the, all the money they got when they could have fucking invested it. Like making money is not that hard, but you got to know when you invest your money, you're going to be making hella money. Uh, you could be making hella money. All investments don't go right. But assuming yours does, that's what I'm talking about at the very beginning of the video. Mo money, mo problems. Now you got to pay mo taxes and mo other shit, bro. <laughs> but that's where shit like owning 
owning, buying new real estate and buying new, like losing money throughout the year, that's where your losses come into play to help you, bro. Because all the money you lost this year, and not probably not all of it, but like even the money you spent eating, you could put that, you could collect all your receipts and like, bro, y'all gotta, y'all gotta know how taxes and how these rich people stay rich. And I'm not gonna go too much into that because it's not that big of a deal because it's really not that hard. It's just the fact that a lot of people don't know. So obviously it's hard if you don't know. It's not hard. You just don't fucking know. You got to pay an accountant type shit. Like you got to have somebody that's getting you money for back for your taxes. So you don't have to pay hella taxes on top of like, bro, you know, we have to pay like 40% of the month, 40%, almost fit. I think Biden's trying to make it 50% of what you make. You got to pay it for taxes. On top of everything in this world already has taxes added to it. So you got to pay those taxes and pay those taxes. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy to me, bro. And you got to pay property taxes too. So not only on just what you make, on what you already have, you got to pay taxes. Oh, shit. You see all these broke motherfuckers, including me, this dude right here. We're getting, we get money back from taxes. Like that's, we're W-4 employees. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I was, I was, I'm not no more. I'll never do that shit again, bro. My time is too valuable for that. I made $17,000 in one year working one of them basic ass jobs, making $11 per hour and 40 hours a week. Some weeks working 50, 60, one week. I work 70 hours per week, per one week, 70 hours. For $17,000, something I could go make in one or two months. Like, this is crazy to me, bro. I might have to put in a lot more extra harder work, but I would spend in those two months, even in those two months where I would have made just $2,000, 3000 or two and a half thousand. <sighs> Working 40 hours a week. I could work probably 40 hours that whole two months or like, let's say a hundred hours that whole two months and make $20,000 because now I'm working, I'm, I'm working with my brain instead of just fucking doing some, doing some, some easy shit, bro. Doing some easy shit. Like I'm taking risk. I'm taking risks and I'm going to go out there. And like I did Saturday work all day for really no reason. We went to a bad spot. We shouldn't have went to this spot and do like do it. What we do there. We shouldn't have done it there. So I worked all day for no reason, probably. I gotta take that risk. I gotta take that risk knowing some days, I might, every door I knock on, boom, I might make 10,000 in one day. So you gotta know what your goals are and know from the jump, know what you're trying to do with your money and know, know why you even want money. Cause my dog, my best friend, bro, he want, he's the most money hungry dude in the whole world. He gets the money. He doesn't know what to do with the money, so he just wants to get more money. It's the look. Then that's when you where you notice he was only addicted to the literal getting the money. He didn't have he was getting the money for no fucking reason. You gotta have a I'm gonna get ten thousand dollars so I can do this. And then once I do this, I'm gonna do that. And once I do that, I'm gonna do that. Once I do this, I'm gonna do that. You gotta know that shit, bro. Like, look, I'm gonna tell y'all my plan right now. Once I start making 20000 30000 whatever enough money, I'm going to put a down payment on a house. I don't know where that is. See, you, you fuck the little details. People want to focus on the little details of your main master plan. You'll figure out those in due time when the time's supposed to hit to do that shit, bro. Right now, it's not that time. So I don't know where I'm going to live. I don't know what, what, what house is. None of that shit, bro. But this year... Or the beginning of the next year. This year, though, bro, I'm going to try to make a down payment on a house and have a house instead of buying rent. Because rent is like, what is that going towards? Like I said the, like I said before, bro, you got to, every play you do, you got to, uh, that's what I learned from the mob boss. I forgot what I was even talking about, bro. You got to make plays now that might not even benefit you for a couple years or months or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like buying this house is going to put me in a financial struggle, but it's really just going to motivate me to pay the fucking the payment every month. And when I'm done paying the payment off, I got my own, I got a house now, bro. And all those, the payments and shit I'm paying on the house 
goes towards paying off my taxes, like all the, the write-offs is what it's called, write-off on my taxes. So my money I'm spending is making, is still like money, I'm, I'm spending it twice, basically. I, I, every month I'll probably have like a $1,500, $1,000 payment on my house. That $1,000 payment's going towards my house and it's going towards my write-offs on taxes. Some shit like that. I don't really like, see, I haven't done none of this shit. Like, I'm in y'all's boat. That's what's cool about it. You normally hear shit from people who've already done it. Like, I'm literally just going to show y'all that what I'm talking about is true, though. Like, see, I don't know the little details of a lot of shit, but I know that. And I, I, I know that I'm not a fucking retard, though, when I'm like, I'm a smart, intelligent, powerful, fearless dude, man, king. So, nothing like a damn, nothing like getting money. Like, I'm not going to crumble towards that. You see so many people get, get money and get fame. Like, the fame is going to be the hardest thing to deal with, though. But getting money is, a like, it's hard to, do you, you, bro, you see it all the time. Like, people don't want to be in that tax bracket no more. They don't want to make that type of money no more. They don't, they stop. They stop. They go back down. They go up the ladder. Then they go back down to a comfortable where, where it's more comfortable. Up here is not going to be comfortable, my guys, my kings, my queens. Up there, up there at the top, it's not going to be comfortable. So, you got to know that you got to start doing everything you do right now is going to make you uncomfortable. Like if, if you're living comfortably, I'm talking about right now, in this moment, right now, you got to do something after this video that makes you uncomfortable. That's what all I do every single day now, starting like three or four days ago. So we don't want to So because living comfortable is the reason why you're losing, though, is the reason why you haven't accomplished shit, bro. You don't know what you got to do uncomfortable. There's a lot of stuff that you don't want to do, bro. But you got to do that shit, bro. Whatever it is. I'm going to show y'all on my page. I'm tired of talking about shit. But, but I don't know. Like, I don't want to go knock on these windows. I don't want to fucking work out. I don't want to read. I don't want to travel and waste my money trying to just see what's out there. Like I could be pessimistic and be like, oh, ain't any shit out there for me. I might as well just stay here, stack up my money and focus on myself. But I'm like, fuck that. I want to travel, make connections, connect with nature, connect with this world. I want to really see what this world has to offer. Like in a, in a way I never really had, like just the beauty of just the world and just the, the vibration of the world. Forget people, I'll deal with people another day another time in my life. I just wanna figure out the world and myself. And then once I figure out those two things, boy, the people, that's the third and final thing I just gotta take over. I'm literally on a takeover. Ha, <laughs> we smoking the takeover pack. Cause that's what I'll try to do. Take over everything, bro. How can you just like allow all these people, bro? The famous people, and I'm not going to say all of them, but like, we're going to say all of them just for saying that. They take over the out of the three things, yourself, the world, and the people around you, the world around you, and the people around you. Out of those three things, they only take over the people around them. Or maybe they take over themselves and the people around them. But a lot of people don't really focus on that third one or they just leave one of the three out themselves or the world or they're not. You got to connect with the nature, people and yourself. You got to do all three. You got to upgrade them to the max, because if you're not upgrading, you're downgrading or you're just you're not you're just wasting time and f fucking up. Cause man, I don't know about y'all, bro, but I I'm noticing myself less and less and less waste time and more and more and more be more productive. And then you gotta really think though, is the is the are kings out there, bro? Like the real kings, bro, with like shit to show for, it, bro. And I'm not even talking about materialistic shit. Like I'm talking about they can just go out in nature for an hour, no phone, no nothing, no 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 this, 
no nothing. Just go out in nature for three hours and just sit with themselves. Can they do that? Please show, I cannot even sit five minutes probably. I would have to get up and just like, my mom would have to like, be, I could be doing something. Even if I had no nothing, I had, I would have to be doing something. I could not just sit there doing nothing. That's mastering yourself and nature together type shit. Cause always the two are going to be two of those three are going to be together. And money is kind of like the fourth shit that like goes through all of them, bro. Cause money will mess with you. Money will mess with the people around you. And obviously money is messing with this world around us because it's fucking us up. We're killing it for, for money. We're killing animals for money. And we're destroying their habitat for money. Like it's, it's crazy, bro. Crazy, 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 crazy people. But I think I really do believe in there's a conscious awakening type shit happening across the world. And there's the people who are waking up and being woke, they're connecting. The chaos is going to stay chaos. It's not organized. We're not out of our minds. Those people are just hurting out of their minds. So some of them got money. Some of them, some of them don't, man. Trying to bring this back to money. Some of us got money. Some of us don't. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, the day that I realized that I can do whatever the fuck I want. And I'm saying that is so literally, bro. I'm saying that is meaning I can do a backflip right now. Or I mean, all right, all right, not right now. I can do a backflip though. I can. If I practiced on that shit, like if I, you know what I'm saying? Like I could, pro I could be in the NBA right now. I, I could be in the NBA. Like you got to really like believe all this shit, knowing that I don't know why it matters. That don't even matter, but you can do whatever if you put in the time to actually do it, you know, in the time and in, in the actual, the right, the right shit to do it. <sighs> Let me change it to what, to what was actually really, I didn't think I could go sell anything because I didn't think I'm old enough. I didn't think I look or, or feel old enough or sound old enough or was smart enough. And I'm all these things. I've been all these things, but it only took me to realize like, oh, I can do that. Okay, that's what I actually could do it. I've been literally saying I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. That's why I couldn't do it because I literally couldn't, couldn't, I couldn't see it. I couldn't believe it. So duh, I, I couldn't do it then. <laughs> Just the moment I realized I could do it that I could do YouTube, like, damn, I am interesting, I am, fuck, fuck the people who don't think so, because I do, and I believe it, though, so, I believe everything, you are, like, this world is connected, you are everything, I am a super, super interesting guy, and I'm also a piece of shit, loser, junkie, I'm a nobody, I'm a, I'm not interesting at all, I could be either or, it's whatever I choose to be. It's whatever. Like, I could be a pill head loser, like, not f focused on my mission. Or I could just keep what's really, what really matters right in front of me and fuck everything else that don't. That's what I was saying also with the choice. Like, people feel addicted. Like, yeah, I am a... That shit is addicting because you got to just realize why is it addicting? I, for years, I just say, hey, I'm a, I'm an addict. I'm an addict. I'm an addict. I'm an addict to everything, to self-pleasure. But really, I just had to reverse it. The, I just had to, wow, that's so deep. That's so fucking deep, bro. I was saying I'm an addict to self-pleasure when really it was the self-pleasure was addicting. Wow, what the fuck? That's crazy. That's deep. See, that's what I'm saying. What you just realized that though? I don't know. So if you say you can or you say you can't, can't, you're right. <laughs> Damn, my accent. The more I do YouTube, I notice how bad it is. Like, I imagine myself listening to it. While I'm talking, I imagine myself listening to myself. And I'm like, dude, your your voice is crazy. Like, 
You sound like a fucking bear. I, I sound like a dog. I don't even know what I sound like, bro. But I sound different. Man. Hey, maybe that's why y'all fuck with me. Or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but I definitely don't mean to do this shit on purpose. God, this shit used to, it used to be one of my like insecurities, bro. I used to not like my voice because everybody used to say it was different. And I'm like, how the fuck is different? I'm just talking, bro. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> How you gonna tell me my shit's different when I'm like, what do you mean? I'm, your shit's different and your voice is different and your voice is different. Obviously, my voice is different, but they were like, I don't know. They're like, no, your voice is different from everybody's. So that shit made me insecure, I guess. I don't know. What I do know is I don't give a fuck no more. <laughs> about any of that though i had to because i had a lot of a lot of little shit like that so and y'all do too i know a lot of people like everybody 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 unless you're just fucking bad it ain't even the most perfect people perfect people probably got some shit that they don't like about it. i feel perfect though like definitely i got some flaws like my teeth could be whiter and my fucking um Beer could be better and my fucking, you know, but I don't care. Like, I'm beautiful, bro. I'm blessed to be, I'm blessed to be who I am. I love every little, you, I love that. I love the, the, the bad shit about me because that's who, that's what differentiates shit, me from everybody else. I don't know, man. I turned this into kind of got sentimental, but I just want y'all to know that that little shit, the little shit, like my teeth not being as white, bro. I could let that shit bother me, bro. Or I could be like, so who cares, bro? Who cares? Who cares? It's not like I don't brush my teeth, but who cares? <laughs> that shit was funny. <laughs> I didn't mean for that. If I go let like if I go let that shit stop me from doing something I enjoy doing, making YouTube videos, then that takes away that pat. What else am I gonna let allow take? Am I gonna let allow my laziness take away me going to the gym and doing something that also makes me feel good afterwards? Hmm. See, you start noticing little shit that's like that that just you could just fix, and then you start doing shit. I started doing shit instead of started stop thinking, stop thinking, stop thinking, stop thinking with the money shit too, bro. Stop overthinking the little details and shit, bro. All I got to do is get the money from my, from my house. And then what the fuck was I going to do? Oh yeah. I'm going to buy a dog. I might buy a dog but first. I'm about puppy though. And I'm going to breed that puppy, but not just breed the puppy. I'm going to love the puppy more than anything because he's going to be my dog, my second dog, my first dog, because that is my dad's dog. So the dog, other dog I have, the one dog I have, it's my dog too, but like, I don't know. It's my dad's dog. I'm I'm his like second favorite or second favorite person, I guess, the dogs. I want to be a dog from its puppy. I want to raise a puppy to a man puppy or a girl puppy, woman puppy. <laughs> I don't know. That shit would be hard. Then that's my dog for real. So, but my my dog, my friend has two females. So we got we're gonna go in business. But he got two puppy females, and they are so adorable. I really need to uh, make a video about them, like show y'all my YouTube or I mean Instagram or something. So check that out. Subscribe, like, comment. All that shit, you know, I reply to every co comment, you know, every like is appreciated. So stop playing with me. I love y'all. Have a good day.